Thank you so much. I want to say, first of all, you look so beautiful. <laughs> I mean it. This is my first time seeing you in per meeting you in person, yeah. seeing all the picture and video. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I, I hope I can look as beautiful as, as you are. Don't talk about how old, bro. Don't talk about how old. <laughs> it's just a number. I feel conflicted in my marriage. Before you go further, let's just say that it's enough to say, I feel conflicted. We're happy to talk about the subject, but that conflicting feeling is two points of view. It's what your inner being knows and what you're deciding to focus upon. If you can get that into focus, then everything else is faster. So let's talk about it. My desire is to have a loving and intact family for me, for my husband, and for my two daughters. But my husband decided to move out for his mistress about nine months ago. The mistress happened to be a divorce lawyer, so she pushed him into a legal action. He just served me with six subpoenas. I would like to rebuild our intact family for the well-being of my family members and also for my values. But I am somewhat in pain, but the pain is getting less and less thanks to you. So I'm wondering, does the universe have something else for me? Big time. <gasps> there are a number of things that we want to say to you and we're going to say them quickly because you will receive it easily most significant is that we understand about the family and the values and the children and all of that and we understand how desires from early years grow and that expectation about how things should be is an important part of culture and desires too. But we also know that most people are missing the importance of the relationship with their inner being, and they are using other relationships to replace that. And often it isn't until something like this happens and you don't have the go-to's that you used to go to whether they were real or imagined for your stability and you find your stability in the place that it always is which is in concert and in alignment with your own inner being then what begins to happen is you gain a sense of who you are and then as you are radiating out into the world that sense of who you are is answered now we usually don't go this far in acknowledgement and speaking but we're going to do it here because it is such a strong understanding from what your inner being is observing and knowing the path of least resistance to maintaining and encouraging who you are is in a different direction than with that person but everything that you want everything that you've stated that you feel so strong that in fact that relationship has caused you to put into your vortex is for sure unfolding for you sometimes people talk to us about but what about my children who now are subjected to things that I never wanted them to be and we say it's a lovely thing when children get to know two different vantage points two different viewpoints two different opportunities early in their life this is a wonderful thing and it also gives you the opportunity to help them to know the importance of their relationship with their own inner being so that they're not counting on the fragile and frivolous human dynamics as their guide you see what we're getting at they can always count on their inner being but they can't always count on you or their father because sometimes mom and dad are under the influence of source which makes them a very good source of guidance and sometimes mom and dad aren't and so we don't want to apply any right or wrong to any of this we just want you to know that when you live life and you put into your vortex 
more than a particular relationship is going to offer you that the universe finds a way to give you what you want around that and so don't look at this as something that's being done to you look at this it is something that is happening for you don't make an enemy out of his new relationship because you don't understand that really you're speculating about that instead think about the cooperative components of the universe and that things are always working out for you so this isn't something that's against you it's something that is for you and so as you go into this whatever it is knowing who you are and what you want from that relationship ask for what is fair and ask for what you want but really do any of you really want to hold someone in a relationship to you who has decided that they want to be somewhere else do you want that what you want is to feel something that you associate with that which isn't about that it's about something else I, I kind of suspected that's what you were going to tell me. <laughs> These are really wonderful times. Things are in motion in a strong way and your stability matters a lot. And to stand in instability under these conditions is asking a lot of anyone, but you're already doing it and you will do it more. And so look forward to what's coming and don't spend any time pushing against what was and feel thrilled with what the universe is offering to you in terms of opportunity. Oh, so much. Really. Thank you. Um, I have uh, some desire and vision also talking to some friends facing similar issue coming to the other side, understand some guys will go through a midlife crisis. <laughs> and I feel that's what he is going through. I'm telling myself and telling my daughter, your daddy cannot think through at this moment, but he will at some point. Here's a more accurate statement. Everyone is in the process of becoming. And sometimes relationships are part of that becoming and sometimes a leaving of that relationship is part of that becoming and another relationship is a part of that becoming and none of us can stand still we understand how that thought might give you some relief something that I want is going away and that feels awful and the idea that it will come back feels better but we want you to identify feel the difference between relief which that thoughts a little bit of relief and true satisfaction and just for a little while reach for satisfaction on a myriad of topics but reach for satisfaction between you and your inner being so that you know what satisfaction feels like you see almost every time someone talks about a relationship they just can't bear it if they hear anything other than it's really not over and we never say a relationship is over because every relationship is eternal but we also know what the path of least resistance is when we say to you that your inner being knows where you stand and where everything you want is and knows what the path of least resistance is for you to move to what you want this is your path of least resistance to everything that you want it really is and so what you're going to discover is your own stability your own independence for a while and then you're going to understand your own capacity to attract what you really want and this is an opportunity for you to just become familiar with what you really want is there right? absolutely and we don't think that you've given very much thought to what you really want we think you've been following in the footsteps of what somebody else wants and that's part of the reason that you feel a little wobbly here this is your opportunity to define who you are and what you want and the universe is so eager to flesh it out for you thank you following the path of least resistance I get it I have a 13 years old daughter what if one time or oh, at some point a 15 years old boy is saying let's follow the path of least resistance <laughs> have some fun as a mother, what do I tell her? Well, <laughs> especially I, just, I was ready to buy three books of Sarah series. If she asks you that today, uh, I want to be prepared for it before he, she asks me. But we have a very 
clever way of explaining this if she asks you that today tell her you can't give her the answer because you don't understand the path of least resistance because your question indicates that you don't understand what we mean by the path of least resistance so now we're going to explain to you what we mean by the path of least resistance and then you'll be prepared to know what to do and the path of least resistance is being under the influence of source and feeling with great clarity which way to go that's the path of least resistance so first you've got to yourself understand when you're under the influence of your own inner being and when you're under the influence of your anger about something and once you've isolated what being under the influence really is then you can demonstrate it through your example because you can't demonstrate it through words demonstrate it through your example that what it is like when you're tuned in and what you're like when you're not and how eager you are to be tuned in and what you do about it when you're not let your children see that you care about satisfaction and that you always lean that way let them watch you live in grace and stability and confidence and clarity and love even under difficult situations let them understand what true alignment is and then you can help them understand that you're following the path of we want to define path of least resistance is also the path of most allowance and the path of most allowance is alignment with source so of course you don't want your children to be out with a bunch of rowdy people who want to do something and it sounds like fun and off they go you want them to be stable in understanding who they are you want them to have already up identified and isolated within themselves what it feels like to be in alignment you want them to have their true guidance within them that's everything that we've been talking with you about since you've been here in this chair you want to know and you want them to know what it feels like when you are tuned into that source energy because then your thoughts come easily to you and you don't feel conflicted about what to do the most disempowering moment in time that anyone lives is when you can't make up your mind about something when you're conflicted or confused about something that is so disempowering but there's never a reason for that because your inner being has already taken all of the data of all of your life of all of your lives your inner being knows who you really are and knows what's active in your vibration knows what you really want knows who you really are and is sending a signal about that that is indescribably powerful and is undeniable and the only reason that anybody denies it is because they haven't practiced tuning themselves to what it is so they don't know what it feels like